The Datto laser welder does not have a power button. So as soon as you plug it in, uh, it will turn on and it'll initiate the pump and get the water flowing through the system. Do not turn on the welder until you've installed the water. Hello, today we're setting up the Datto laser welder. Uh, first thing we'll do is get the Datto out of the box. So first thing you'll see in the box is a quick set setup guide. And so you want to follow the steps there and that's what we're going to do as well. Okay, a couple things here. On the side of your Datto box, there is a QR code. If you scan that code, it'll tell you the serial number and it should match up with the serial number listed right here. Um, secondly, on the quick install guide that we just pulled out, uh, down here at the bottom, you can also scan any one of these QR codes to get to the website for the data um, or download the app, the Datto app. There's a welding app for this machine. Um, if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, there's the QR codes for that. And then lastly, there's a code you can scan to download the user manual. Now, just to show you real fast, uh, so if I scan this to download the app and it pulls up the app store to take me to download the app and then from there uh, we'll show you later in the video um, how you use the app to control your welding parameters. Now another thing to keep in mind uh, there is a step that is not on your quick start. Uh, before you plug in your data to start it um, you have to make sure you install the master key and interlock key. So we have another insert in here and this is for the step before you plug in your data laser welder. Microfiber pad for cleaning the microscope and other parts. This is a stand that your cell phone or tablet will sit on. Then you have some Allen wrenches, a fiberglass brush for cleaning your parts after welding them, some tweezers, and then inside here you also have your foot pedal and power cable and you'll want to set these out of the way like this and then we have a silver laser wire and then you want to remove the styrofoam. Now the laser welder is not exceptionally heavy but it would help to have two people pull it out and set it on the table because you do not want to have the laser welder go on its side or, um, or fall over or anything like that. So grab someone um, to pull that out of the box and help you put it on the table. After you remove the data from its box, you'll have a plastic cover that you'll want to just remove as well. The next step, we want to remove everything from the welding chamber. If we open up these flaps here, you can see that the microscope lens is here in the chamber. And the easiest way to get everything out is to first kind of wiggle the, the microscope out like this. And then next, you have your water bottle. And then last, you have a little piece of foam here with your microscope eyepiece covers. And then there's a little piece of foam in there. There might be one or two pieces of foam that you'll just want to pull out. One of the last things found in the welding chamber is your master key and your interlock key. The welder will not function if these keys are not plugged in. Those keys are taped to the side wall of the chamber. So if you pull that out, there are two ports inside the chamber that these keys will plug into. You have to plug in the master key and the interlock key before you ever turn the welder on. If you turn the welder on and these keys are not plugged in, you'll get an error message and it will not be allowed to weld. The ports are on the ceiling inside the chamber. So you'll have to pull uh, these flaps up out of the way and look to where each one goes. One key is smaller and one key is wider and thicker and so when you're looking up to see which key goes where that's how you'll know which one plugs into which port. So if you're looking at the welder it's going to be in the top left. First we're going to plug in the master key and then the interlock key. So setting up next, going to step five on the paper, uh, 
we are going to grab the smaller of the two Allen wrenches and you have a set screw here in the back. So the microscope is going to go on right here. But in order for that to fit in there first, we have to unscrew the set screw. So we just go like this and you'll see the set screw right here as you back it out. And then just install the microscope and then tighten the set screw. Now we can install the IP shields. So on the IP shield, there's a part that sticks out a little farther, and on one side it's not as it doesn't stick out as far. You will place the part that sticks out farther onto the eyepiece. There we go. Okay, now we're to the part where we install the deionized water. Now on the back of the Dado laser welder there is a cap right here. We have to pop that cap off in order to pull the tubes out that we put the water in so the water can go into the um, water pump system. So the easiest way to do that that I've found, uh, there's a little hole here and you take the Allen wrench that we use to tighten the microscope on and if you st stick the Allen wrench in that hole and then pull back, it'll pop the cap right off. There are two water pump tubes that you will pull out here. Both of these tubes have a black cap on them. The one we are going to use to fill up the water is the smaller of the two tubes. So what we'll do is we'll pull the cap off like that and then what you do is you can cut the cap off of your water bottle here up at the top and install that water right here or if you have a funnel you can place the funnel on there and pour the water in that way. Okay so I've installed my funnel onto the smaller tube. Now what I need to do is take the cap off the bigger tube as well. So we take this off. I will just slowly pour in the water. The amount of water that comes with your Dado is how much needs to be in the system. So be sure to use all of it. Okay, so we'll take the funnel off. So we've capped the big tube. We're going to leave the small tube uncapped. So next what we need to do is plug the Dado laser welder into your power source. We recommend using a power strip like this because the Dado laser welder does not have a power button. So as soon as you plug it in, it will automatically start the laser welder. So if you have a power strip, then you can use the power strip as your on-off button for the powering the laser welder. So I'm going to now plug this in and then push in the power adjustment knob found in the chamber. And then we're going to wait for three minutes. During those three minutes, the Dado laser welder will be cycling the water to get out all the air bubbles. If after the three minutes you get an error warning uh, saying that the water has not circulated or the air bubbles are not out, you'll just repeat this process. Okay, so the Dado is now plugged in and what I'll do is reach in and push the button. And from here we will wait three minutes. Okay, so the three minutes have passed. Everything's good. The water is going through, circulating good. We didn't get any error messages. So now what we'll do is we will put the cap on the smaller tube like this. And we know everything is good because inside the chamber we have the LED light color and we can change our power. To the left it'll light up green to the right is red for higher power. All right, so last thing to finish up the video here, like I said, you have your cell phone or tablet stand. Um, and so what you'll do is you'll just set it up here on top of the data. Uh, we have the app from what we downloaded earlier today, or earlier in the video. Um, so when I pull up the Dado app, it shows me uh, the welder that, or the serial number 
uh, that I'm on. So if there's multiple dados around you, you select the one you're working on. Um, they'll all show up on a list here. So I'm going to click that and it will connect me to the app so that I can now control uh, the welding parameters. So as you can see here in the box, it's in the idle state um, with that color, that uh, darker bluish color. So if I click here, click the knob, uh, push it in, that'll start up the welder. Okay. So now we have the, the clear color and you can see here on my app as I change the power up the colors inside change. So as I reach my max power which is 12 um, it turns red on the inside and as I bring it down the color keeps changing as I change it. But you can just set this here, set your phone or tablet in this little holder and then as you're sitting down to weld you can control your different power settings right there. So just something to keep in mind if you don't want to use your phone or a tablet to control your power settings that's okay. You don't have to use the, uh, the phone, you don't have to use the app. So we can close this here and if you're not using the, the app at all you just change that same dial that we pushed in to start if you twist it left or right, that's how you change your power settings. You won't know what number you're at, but you'll know that as you turn to the right, you're going to higher power, so it'll turn red. And as you bring it down, it's kind of an orange or yellow, and then to green, and green's your lower power. That is our setup for today. If you have any questions, let us know. And thank you for watching.